Okay, um, I'm going to show you a, a Spitfire um, base build with, um, or a fuselage build with the upgraded uh, wing box. One of the weak spots in these, um, in my Spitfire has been the front wing box. So what I did was I put together this little uh, wing box upgrade basically for it, which reinforces that front part of the plane. Um, that front part of the plane is where it takes most of the force when you land. Um, or if you have a bad landing, that front wing box is what rips out um, when you when you really put a lot of pressure on the wings on a landing. Um, it may be a design flaw, maybe just because it's foam board and it's not that strong, or it may just be because I'm a bad pilot. But any way you look at it, um, I built a front wing box reinforcement for it. So I'm going to show you how to put that in. Uh, first thing you do before you fold up your, your fuselage, I've already taken out the... Um, taken out the reliefs here and uh, done a test fold on it. But before you take, before you do anything further, um, you want to glue in your, your lower sections on both sides. So um, what I do is I just put a little hot glue on the back side of these. And it doesn't take much, but make sure you get it covered and make sure you don't fill in the holes. Make sure you line that up right with where the wing opening is and you line up the center hole with the hole that's pre-cut in the package. And this front part right here should just touch, should just touch the end of the foam board. So that's right where you start to turn and you take, you, you can take a lot of force here when you, when you land. And you should have a little bit of a gap here. That's completely fine. Um, but it lines up perfectly with this. So this should still be able to move, but you should be right on that seam line. And just hold it down until it's good and solid. This does add a little bit of weight to the plane, but I think it's a trade-off for the amount of strength that it adds. Um, you might have to slide your battery just a little farther back to keep your CG right. And make sure you glue the opposite side so you know which side goes on. And you can see, slide this back just a little bit so you can see better. You can see it lines up just the back side there. So they're opposite. So when they fold up together, your little um, cross member piece can go in between them. So let's put the hot glue this. Careful to leave the area where the where the, um, where the hole is open, because we're probably going to do some CA on that. Just put a nice little generous dose on that. And we're going to line that up as nice as we can here. Center of the hole, front end, back, just a hair. Press it down. And you want the hole centered, so when you push your uh, barbecue skewer through, it goes through. and hold it in place until it seals. Solid. So you can tell it looks a little bit different, um, but it's pretty much the same build. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do, um, you may not wanna do this, you can actually fold this part up into the, into the bottom of this piece. It will fold up in there and close off, but you don't use it anyways, so it doesn't really give you any structure or really help because that front end is get, getting uh, stabilized so much more. So basically what I do is just cut this off because I'm not going to use it. I'll just take it off. Set this aside because you might use it to, for um, squeegeeing some uh, hot glue out of your seams later. Slide this this way. Okay. So then we just build this as normal flight test build. Uh, do a B fold on this. So I'm going to put some glue here. Let it lift on over. Not the best at doing these builds, so bear with me. Kind of in there.
Should turn it the other way. Sorry. Now, before you put the top on, um, we're going to put in our, our little bottom piece here. I usually do it this way. Um, it's just a little bit easier to get to it down here, and you want to do it while you still have some flex in these parts. Right? You can still bend them a little bit and get it in there. Um, take a little bit of your favorite CA, and just do one side at a time. Slide this down out of the way so you can get that nice and tight and level. I just kind of tilt it to the side while I do that. I'm let that CA sit for a couple seconds. Then here's the part that you just gotta work at a little bit. Put a little more CA on this side. And then pull this out and pop it in the notch. This does two things. One, it glues it together, reinforces that wing box a lot. And the second thing is it helps square up the bottom of that because that's a, that wood squares up a little nicer than the um, than the, uh, the foam board does. Now, if you want, like I said, you could still keep this piece in here, and this piece will actually fold right in here and kind of cover up the wood. Um, you could leave that in there. If you want, um, I just take it out. If you do this before you paint, um, does a lot. To, then you can paint over this too, and you can hardly even see it. So that's all there is to it. That's your, your reinforced wing box for the Spitfire. Um, now your uh, your uh, rod will go right through there. You can just press it through. And this is one from one of my other planes. I'm going to line this up. Flip through there and line it up. And away it goes. And there you go. I left all these a little bit smaller. So you basically with a pre-drill hole so you can line up your drill. And you also see the wood here it kind of lines up with the front. So when this plane lands down on its nose like that, um, that'll take the brunt of it and it won't tear up your uh, your nice, nicely painted body here. So thanks a lot. And that's my reinforced wing box.